Robert Knowles was an important English knight of the Hundred Years' War. His actions earned him a reputation as a freebooter and a ravager. The ruined gables of burned buildings became known as Knowles Mitres. Born in Cheshire, Knowles first appears as the captain of several castles throughout Brittany in the mid-14th century. He was one of the English champions at the Combat of the Thirty in 1351, where he was captured. Later, he contributed 800 men to the 1356 Chevauchet of Henry of Grosmont, first Duke of Lancaster, a diversionary campaign to draw King John II of France north and thus leave the Black Prince free to embark on the famous Poitiers campaign. With France in disarray after the Battle of Poitiers, King Charles II assumed command of the rebellion in Paris and Knowles joined up with the army of Charles's brother Philip as they temporarily held the capital against the Dauphin in 1358. Knowles' finest hours were to come that autumn, when he led a great company of two to three thousand men into the Loire Valley, establishing several forward garrisons at important towns. He then advanced and in 1359 reached Auxerre, which fell in March after a two-month siege. After the city had surrendered, Knowles was knighted the sack of Auxerre proceeded with little violence and destruction. Knowles and his soldiers were professionals who intended to maximise their profit. The city was carefully ransacked for valuables and the citizens assessed for ransom. In the end, a huge ransom was extorted for not destroying the city, although this was only partly paid. The following month, Knowles began to plot the invasion of the Rhone Valley with Hugh Calverley. Marching south, they besieged the important city of Le Puy, which fell in July 1359. As they continued to the papal city of Avignon, their path was barred by the army of Thomas de la Marche, deputy for Louis II, Duke of Bourbon, at which point both English commanders retreated and dissolved their companies. At the climax of the Breton War of Succession, Knowles participated in the Siege of Auray in 1364 and was with the Black Prince at the Battle of Nahair in 1367. In 1370, he was given a large grant of lands and money to raise an army to invade northern France. He landed at Calais in August with 6,000 men and carried out a raid deep into French territory, burning villages on the outskirts of Paris, but failing to bring the French king out to battle. He then turned towards Gascony and began capturing and fortifying castles and churches in the region. When it became known that French armies were closing in on them, Knowles proposed to retreat into Brittany, but most of the army refused. He therefore marched away with his own retinue, leaving the bulk of the army where they were to be comprehensively defeated at the Battle of pont -Valaine. Knowles passed the winter in his castle at Derval on the Breton March and afterwards attempted to evacuate his men from the port of saint Mathieu. However, for lack of ships, most of the English soldiers had to be left behind on the shore and were wiped out by the French. In 1372, Knowles was found by the King's Council to bear the major responsibility for this disaster, and he was stripped of the lands that he had been given to him as a fee for raising his army, and fined 10,000 marks. Knowles died in Schoolthorpe, Norfolk, in August 1407.